In the future, there are going to be two types of people. People who know how to use AI and people who are left behind because they didn't want to invest time in learning AI. Generative AI is the skill of the future and you don't want to be left behind. So in this video, we're going to explore top three AI tools that you can use for coding, data analysis and more. Think of generative AI as like having a personal assistant, which allows you to be smarter and more efficient with your time. Without a surprise, the number one generative AI tool on my list is ChatGPT. It is the goat of all tools and if you haven't heard about ChatGPT or haven't used it or haven't tried it, you are definitely living under a rock, my friend. ChatGPT can generate new code, debug existing code, write text, and even do data analysis for you. With the latest launch of ChatGPT code interpreter, you can actually input raw data into ChatGPT and it will create basic analysis and data visualizations for you, which is pretty neat. There is no generative AI tool that is able to do that. If you want to do data analysis and coding, definitely take a look at ChatGPT and learn how to use this tool. There are obviously some limitations to ChatGPT. The number one downside to ChatGPT is the data is old. It is trained on data up to 2021, which means it doesn't have the latest internet data. Another limitation of ChatGPT is that the code interpreter plugin is only available to paid subscribers and it's not available for free. Although the code interpreter is a very neat idea, it is not really practical. You can actually watch this video next where I go into detail on code interpreter and while doing an actual data analysis project. Moving on, the second tool on my list is not BART, it's Claude AI. Yes, this is a brand new tool. It is currently only available in US and UK, but this tool is something else. I hadn't heard of Claude AI until recently and after I used it, I was actually pretty impressed by what it can do. Similar to ChatGPT, it can also write code and generate text. But a bonus is that you can upload files to Claude AI, PDFs, Excel files, CVS, and it will analyze it for you. Which is actually the coolest part because it is available for free, unlike the code interpreter. This is why it's number two on my list because it can do everything ChatGPT can, plus it has a built-in code interpreter. It's not as great as the paid version of code interpreter, but it is pretty neat. The limitation is that it's only available in US and UK, but I bet it will be available in other countries in no time. My next video will actually cover Claude AI in detail, so stay tuned and subscribe if you haven't yet. On the topic of smart AI tools, I wanted to share predictive analytics tool that is specifically designed for data analysis and machine learning projects, Pecan AI, that is also sponsoring this portion of the video. No, you don't have to be a data scientist or a machine learning engineer to build predictive models. This tool is specifically designed for people who are non-data scientists and non-machine learning engineer. Pecan AI uses machine learning to automatically build and deploy predictive models without the need of data scientists. For example, let's say you want to predict customer churn rate. With Pecan AI, you can achieve this with a few clicks without having a data scientist. All you need is basic understanding of the problem you are trying to solve and the data you're working with. It's easy to use, can be scalable to large data sets, and builds accurate predictive models. I'm linking Pecan AI in the description below. Feel free to check it out. The third tool on my list that you should learn is Bard AI. Bard AI is number three on my list, but it could easily be number two because of its integration with the Google tools. That's hands down my favorite part about Bard AI. It is integrated with Google tools such as Google Colab, Gmail, Google Docs, Google Drive. It can write new code, debug, and modify existing code, write documentation, and lets you export your code to Google Colab with just one click. I also really like that it's connected to the internet and you get up-to-date information with links and images from the internet, which makes it more than just a text-based AI tool. With respect to limitations for BARD, honestly, I thought long and hard, but I could not come up with one. Maybe I'm missing something. You let me know in comments. What are some limitations of BARD? The number four tool on my list is not really a tool, but it's more of a plugin. Yes, and I really wanted to mention this because there are so many cool plugins that are available for coding and data analysis that a lot of us don't even know about. And it's not just one plugin, it's composite of plugins that I really like using. In this section, I'm going to be mentioning two plugins that you should definitely try out. Both of these plugins are available in V3 
VS Code, which is a code editor by Microsoft. The two plugins that I really, really enjoy using the most is Genie AI and Tab9. Both of these plugins are available for free and lets you write your generative AI prompt inside the code editor, inside the VS Code, and writes new code and edits existing code within the code editor, which is what makes it really, really neat. You don't even have to leave the window to work with AI. So definitely install these two plugins and play around with it. They are pretty solid and pretty handy and less copy paste if your coding is your primary purpose of using generative AI. So these are my top four tools, I guess, generative AI tools and plugins that I wanted to mention for data analysis and coding. If you haven't used them yet, I don't know what you're waiting for. Definitely get your hands on one of these tools and start using them in your day-to-day -day activity. I have personally been using it for so many different things. For example, last week I was traveling and I didn't have a gym near me, so I needed to do my own workout. So I created a leg day workout using ChatGPT and it gave me a very neat workout plan. And there's so many other use cases that I can use it for. For example, recipe, meal prepping. I also wanted to share some bonus generative AI tools. Besides the ones I mentioned, there are so many other awesome tools out there. Some of them that I wanted to mention include GitHub Copilot. It's available for a paid subscription. Code Whisperer. It is also available as a paid subscription. Text to SQL, which is also pretty neat. It is based on the back end is ChatGPT, but the text to SQL integration is actually pretty, pretty neat. This is again a paid tool. I actually have done a few short videos on this if you want to check it out. These are only available if you are a paid user. So if you want to spend some money to try out these tools, feel free to check them out. Is there any tool that I did not mention that I should have? Let me know in comments. I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Also, I recently got this mic to interview people to create short form content, but <laughs> I haven't done that. So I was thinking maybe I could use this mic in my future videos. So I use less of my hands because some of you don't like it. Don't like a lot of my hand usage. I don't know, whatever. Let me know in comments. Okay, bye.